Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Hoping that I'll find you all well and good for this very quick pour. Okay, that was just some paint that I'd found of my husband's that was um, a gloss but it was untinted so I put some of that Oh, this is very quick. I put some of that um, Global High Flow Rose Gold into actually tint the paint over a painting that obviously I'm painting over. I'm just going to go straight over it. So I was using today the Colour Art pigments that I'd mixed. Oh, there you go. I'm going to use a basics as well, but they're mostly the Colour Art pigments. Um, paints that I already had mixed up in my little jar so just basically seeing how long they last and if they're going to work. I'd mixed them all up uh, with the polypore so you can get this uh, in Australia from online the link below this video at Capriol Shabby Chic if you're in the US and uh, Europe there's, I think you can get them from the lovely Sashka Smith if you're in um, Europe and UK. These pigments and that polypore. So I just added the polypore to the pigments and nothing else. And I wanted to do a swipe with it today and get the lovely luster that you seem to get with these gorgeous pigments. So yeah, I will yeah let you watch on and... Um, I hadn't got a clue what colours they were because I'd mixed these up a little while ago and I hadn't marked the colours. So, so sorry about that. I'm currently adding some uh, black as my uh, cell activator, I suppose. It's the black Amsterdam paint mixed with only Floetrol. It's what I'm swiping on top to create a lacy cell effect in this pore. So I'm sort of doing these just random swipes in that lovely colour and then I will tilt it and see what we get but certainly a lot of um, lovely uh, lacy cells were created and a very lustery finish, sheeny shiny finish. So I'm doing that swiping and tilting and swiping and tilting until you just get something you like. It's just in the moment in your own space, in your own art room or your own, whether you're in a bedroom, a kitchen, a laundry, just going for it and doing what pleases you. And so I was just tilting all over this canvas and it did actually 
end up to be a really nice piece that I'm really happy with. So I hope you enjoy, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. And of course, I'll be back again tomorrow. But wait on for the end results and please let me know what you think. So this was a bit of a different take because it was with pigments and making the paint basically from scratch. So um, yeah, adding a bit more of my base paint there, which remember was rose gold used with the global um, high flow paint to, to change, uh, to add the pigment to my paint. This particular piece did really turn out gorgeous. Um, the actual shimmer and shine in it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave this to fully dry and then put a coat of gloss or resin over it just to bring it all out because this camera obviously was not showing how rich, delicious and lustery those colors actually were but it was an actual nice, peaceful, relaxing one for me to do there in my art room on my own this afternoon. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, so I hope you do too. Okay, there we go. What am I gonna do now? I think I'll give you the close-up, so take care and uh, stay safe. Oh, a bit wobbly there. There you go. It was pretty gorgeous and I love it. Thanks so much. Until tomorrow, bye for now.